Hi, I'm Nafia Asreen. I'm studying in NIF Bengaluru and I'm doing uh, the course of Bachelor of Fashion Technology. So I'm going to be talking about how I got into BF Tech without uh, taking a year break while doing my uh, PUC. So yes, I had taken uh, Physics, Chemistry and Math as my main subjects. Uh, I was into the science stream and uh, into 11th grade I thought that no, I can't do engineering. So yes, I always had a thing that I wanted to get into fashion. So I knew about NIFT and the only course I knew was B-Design. So I approached Pehel Designs and initially I started training for B-Design. Then later um, I got to know about uh, Bachelor of Fashion Technology, that there's a course something like that existing in NIFT. So yeah, that intrigued me. So uh, integrating technology with fashion was like a good thing for me because I was already doing um, science, uh, science in my 11th and 12th. So yes, uh, I moved on to uh, training to Bachelor in Fashion Technology. So uh, I got to know that it's about majorly about apparel production and also I always had a thing that I wanted to uh, create a brand of my own. But yes, yeah, so I wanted to do that instead of just going into B design. So this w this course was much relevant to me. So I started training here at Pahel Designs and um, wh what I did personally was I used to come every Saturday and Sunday. And uh, throughout the weekend I would have uh, weekdays, I would have my uh, college. So I uh, prepared for GATT majorly. So uh, I used to get mock papers from the um, coaching center itself and I used to work on all that. And GK, I would uh, go through this book called Aryanth. And not just that, I, I was very active on social media as well. So I could get all kind of inputs from there. So uh, other than that, um, math and reasoning, I used to get a lot of tips and tricks, how to do, uh, uh, how to solve a problem quick, from Pahel itself. So my speed during the exam was uh, really good. So I could complete the test like at least 45 minutes before and I, I was sitting there and checking all my uh, answers. So that was good. Okay, so let's talk about speed now. So the speed in the exam will give you a lot of plus points because if you complete the exam early, you can go back and check again or you can leave, a, leave out a question which you're not sure about and come back uh, later anytime. So first, let's talk about math section. So in math, there are a lot of tricks for each and every chapter which can be covered, so you gain the speed. So more than tricks, you have to practice it a lot of time so that these tricks can be applied, so you, get, uh, you can save time and also it's accurate. So it's a good pointer. So yeah, um, let's say work in time, distances, and uh, there are no geometrical questions, there are only arithmetic questions in uh, this particular exam. So if you keep practicing it, you can uh, take a lot of mock tests and a lot of uh, questions from a lot of books, you can get it online. So keep practicing every, uh, every chapter, don't take any chapter for granted because even though you know something in the end, anything can happen. So keep practicing it so that you know and it's fixed in your mind. All the formulae, be very thorough with it so there's not, that nothing goes wrong. Then uh, reasoning. So math is already taught to us in school, but reasoning is not something like that. So reasoning also, there are uh, not all the tricks are given in the books. So you, I would advise you to go to any coaching institute. Like I uh, went to Pahel, so I learned a lot of tricks from my uh, teachers. That actually came handy in the exam because I knew what to do instantly. So I wrote it down and I knew the answer. And it was con I was sure that it was correct. So yes, that uh, you can do. And most of the reasoning part is quite easy and there are a lot of questions and you can easily gain points. Next, uh, talking about English, this particular uh, thing, subject, we take a lot of, uh, we take it granted for because it's not the same as what we learn in school. So we have uh, antonyms, synonyms, and we have uh, fill in the blanks, and also there are a lot of passages out of which you have, to, you have to read and just choose the right answer, which is simple, but still you have to pay a little attention to it because one mistake can lead to you losing marks. Then later, case studies. Case studies, again, is like reading out a passage and choosing the right answer. So there are different types of uh, case studies uh, and you have to just read it out and apply your brain and see which might be the most apt answer and just write it. That's it. Then talking about GK. 
So this is the most tricky part because I still keep getting texts from a lot of people saying how to prepare for GK, but there's no answer for that. All you have to do is just keep your ears open, um, look out for news, be, like majorly for uh, any new brand or any brand related uh, uh, what is that news and uh, related to fashion designers and any new store coming up, any new technology which has been incorporated, anything. So I would recommend you not to buy the Manorama book because that is a wide spectrum and out of a lot of information you might need one or two so you, you'd be just wasting time. So be active on social media, look out for information related to the industry. So yes, also you can um, go to a coaching center, they would uh, again guide you like how in Pahel I was guided what and all to st uh, look out for GK, they didn't tell me this are the set. Uh, papers for GK but then yeah they still told me which direction to head to so overall all you have to do is practice intensely because if you want to get it right you have to practice so the only the tricks is not gonna help you along with practice is what's gonna help you gain points and uh, get a good rank in the end so yes thank you you can you can uh, go to any coaching center, they'll definitely help you out. Or if you want to do self-study, you can go on online, you can find a lot of mock papers, a lot of them. They'll, like, they'll tell you what to do. So yes, all the best. Thank you.